Good morning, Wainers. Welcome back. It's good to see you. It's good to have you. Things are looking a bit gloomy on this Texas morning. Not the kind of weather you'd plan a fishing trip in, but it looks fishy to me. It's a beautiful Monday morning. I just drove through some hellacious Fort Worth traffic to get here. Honestly, puckering my butthole all the way to the ramp, which we've made it to. I looked at the forecast last night and I'm like, 25 mile per hour winds, maybe an inch of rain, and it's gonna be very cloudy. I think the biggest misconception with folks is you wanna go out on the nicest day of weather because that's the most comfortable, right? You know, you don't wanna be out there getting soggy. You wanna get a nice tan, wanna catch some nice bass and soak up the suns, but it's days like today that can really shape up and result in like some legendary fishing experiences. <laughs> Whoa, that's, that's your it. personal best. Yeah. But anyway, I just want to get today's video kicked off before we even get the boat in the water. I've been having a lot of really awesome feedback in the videos. You guys are so great. It seems like the bass fishing content is is uh, what y'all want to see, so that's why we're doing a little bit of bass fishing today. Here are just a few of the comments that I've, I've been receiving, some uplifting stuff. Um, <laughs> no, all jokes aside, uh, I have to dress the elephant in the room, and that is this this little woolly worm that's above my lip. That, By the way, this is about as big as it's going to get. I don't think I can grow any more hair than this. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The mustache, it's not going anywhere. It's kind of like when Peter Parker gets bit by the Spider-Man, he can then you know, fling webs out of his wrist. That's kind of like me, like I got this mustache and I'm like catching bass and fishing's been good. So I'm afraid if I shave this off, I'll, I'll lose my mojo and my touch. So we're gonna keep it on as long as I, I physically can. Um, I'm getting a lot of milk and food stuck in it, but it's been giving me bass superpowers. So it's, <laughs> it's going nowhere. Uh, I'm meeting a buddy at the ramp. We're also, I think, waiting on Caleb too. I don't see where they're at. Kind of confused. But anyway, I'll pick the camera back up once I, I locate the boys and we're just gonna have ourselves a freaking day. Stick with it, stay tuned, and uh, as always, let's go crank. Woo wee! At least it's warm. It's not cold out. It's kind of like that soup air. When you step outside and it kind of feels like soup, like a lobster bisque type air, then that's when you want to go fishing. I found the boys. What's going on? What's up? Let's go do this. I always, I always seem to pick the worst days to go fishing, but yeah. hopefully it results in some, some bitey, some bitey bass. It looks nice over here, not too bad. But once we get out there, it'll be nasty. Do you do a lot of bank fishing? Oh uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. You want this? Oh yeah, man. We, these literally just came in. These are like our new bags, and I've actually not even had a chance to break them in. But okay, yeah. It's got a bunch. Of, I think it comes with tackle trays too, man. Yeah, there's the tackle trays. Oh, really, man. Here you go, man. Oh, man. You got yeah, such yeah, a good name. Sure. I was like, you know, might as well hook you up, Appreciate homie. It, man. Hey, nice meeting you, Jonathan. All right, nice meeting Take you care. too, man. See you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Well, on that note, got some exciting news on the Guggen Squad website right now. I'll leave this all linked down below, by the way. We've got some uh, some totes. Some bank banging bags, that's what I just gave Jonathan. That's like our new fishing backpack. It's awesome for you know you anglers that go out there and pond hop. That's what I grew up doing. That bag would have been sick if I was like 13 years old and I'm still gonna use it today. We've got all this like really good stuff. It's like a big cooler. You can put your some beverages in here, some Miller Lights, some White Claws if you're like me. They also work great for tackle too. I've been using them for like, you know, big worms and things like that. You guys can check these out right now. Hugansquad.com and you use my code John B to save 10% off on your order. So that will all be linked down below. We've also got these smaller ones too. This is like more of like a, you know, if you're like a co-angler on a boat, you can bring this out there. A bunch of nice little compartments, places for your tools right there, your skizzers, all that good stuff. Like I said, link down below. Okay, with that in mind, Jerry's in the water. We're ready to go fish. Sun is just rising. It's gonna get soupy out here. So we're gonna try to get it done as fast as we can. We're looking for a couple of big bass, a couple of big old pre-spawners, maybe some spawners too. Let's see if we can go bust them. Let's do it. Here we go, spot number one. Spot numero uno. Let's film a heater for you guys today. I'm I'm excited. It's gonna it's gonna help having you here, Jerry, because usually I get stuck in a rut looking at my graph and hopefully today we can go up shallow. The, the mission is to get them deep first in the morning and then move up shallow as it gets warm. It's not getting much warmer. The air temp's gonna get warm, but we don't have any, we're not gonna have any like solar heat pushing down on that water, but it's like 56 degrees. This is the warmest water I've fished all year. 
pretty yeah. much, for, at least for the morning, the start. Yeah, so that's good if you stay directly, uh, like if you go up the river or stay on the north end of the dam, like like if you want to go fish dirt water, which is real, like, that's the thing too, is everyone just thinks you got to fish the clear sh but yeah. a lot of that mud is awesome. Like Rackley got on some really good bites, what, two years ago, just flipping and pitching up there. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's gotta be warming up. Yeah, the only sad part is it is down by about five feet. So a lot of those really, really good reeds that are usually good for flipping and pitching are out of the water. Oh God, what the hell, I'm on, there we go. Absolutely clap me. No, I don't think it's that big. I'm not slacking my lines, little guy. The bite was convincing though. Oh yeah, this is what we came out here for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, no skunk. No skunk in this boat. Thanks, but no skunk. Thank you, little fella. First bite of the day on the jerk bait. Every bite is a piece to the puzzle as to how we're getting them. This is just a bone white jerk bait. I think this is like a French pearl color. Caught an eight pounder two years ago, I think, or a year, year and a half ago on the stretch. They're on the same bait. In these conditions, it was a little bit warmer than this, but it's close enough. All right, first nibble. I was just curious. I, I've used those Sonys in the past, and those are pretty good. But they're just huge. They're so big. Yeah, that the road axe that we use. That thing's dope. Fine, but they're like on. There we go. That's a better one. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Yeah, I got a hook on here. It's a decent fish. It's not pulling worth it. What is it? The shad. I've got a hook funny. Oh, that's a bass. There we go. Another piece of the puzzle. A little bit bigger too, which is nice, but he's not huge. It is a fish that we will take. These bass in here, they pull. I think a lot of them are like four. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Definitely take note of this. About a one pounder. So this is how you know the color and the bait you're throwing is right. Oftentimes when bass are feeding on actual shad, they'll go head first on the bait. It's something like it's easier for them to get it down their gullet and that's one of the reasons why sometimes when you throw a crankbait or a jerkbait, it'll be head first in their mouth. Nice little bizzle. Let's go. See you, buddy. Did have a bit of bleed on the gill there. It was just li like literally just barely touching his gills. He should be fine. We got it in the mouth. But that's two fish on the old rip bait, the slash bait, the jerk bait, the pop and go, whatever you want to call it. We might run this bank again, but with some different baits, maybe some swim baits or maybe one of us throw a jerk bait and then something else. I like the way this day's starting though. Nice little busy. You're gonna get, you're gonna get the front and fish the rest of this. I'm gonna rig up a A rig. It's gonna take me about 45 minutes. Don't laugh. You knew it was gonna happen. Yeah. All right, we're scoping just for a little, just for a little bit. I promise, just for a little bit. When it's windy like this, you can get right on top of them sometimes. Like I've like literally yeah. just flipped the air rig right in front of their face. Yeah, it's, you're, it's like literally right there. Right on top of this head. It's coming, slowly. A couple of them coming. Oh, he just bit it. Still down there, still looking for it. Still looking for it. Got him. There we go. Ate the white, like the good bass he is. Oh, that's a little bit better. There's two of them down there. You guys aren't supposed to look at what I'm throwing. I'm not, I really am not allowed to throw this anymore. The water's, the water's still cold and they're feeding on bait. So, hey, look at the conditions. It screams A-Rig. Nice, fat, chunky one, probably about a two pounder. Just throwing right up on the dam. Nice, fat, healthy one. That is the gut of a pre-spawner. Probably a little female or something, or he's got shad, either which one. Healthy fish, nonetheless. Working our way up. See you, gal. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bad release. Let's keep going. He's chasing it, he's chasing it. He said, oh, he wants it. Good one. He just touched it again. Oh, I just had him. I just had him. I'm back for it. Oh my God, that was a good one. Damn it. Again, I didn't see that fish. Oh. Did you lose 
Oh, Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, yeah, let's go flip around for a bit. And <laughs> put him in the eight. Got him. Yeah, we'll come back to this. It's only nine. Alright. You on? Is that a fish? Yeah? Actually? Dude, that's a big one. Is it a fish? Yes. My... No. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's a fish. We got our video. <laughs> I was gonna say, we... oh man, you got me going there for a second. How's it going? Yeah, you got a big one? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got, you need a scale too? I got her on the scale, she's too. Oh, what? <laughs> no yeah, I got a tape right here. Oh my gosh. I saw you this morning, I didn't say hi, but. No, you're cool. What's your name? Jared. Jared, Jared nice to meet you. 10 pounder alert. Yes, sir. That's sick, dude. The biggest one I ever had. Really? Is that your personal best? It's my PB. Dude, this is sick. You mind if I hop in? Yeah. Cool. Oh. Still shaking a little bit. Ah, uh, so. yeah, as would I be. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. What? <laughs> that is epic. Congratulations, man. It actually goes 25, 25. It's, a, it's not a very long thing. No, it's just. Oh my gosh, dude, it's not even 24 inches. That's a 10 pounder. That's 23 Holy and crap, three quarters. Dude. That's crazy. That is the shortest, fattest 10 pounder I've ever no. seen. Dude. Congratulations. That is so sick, man. Beautiful. Nicely um, done, boys. Go down the bank and let her go on her. I, I, yeah, this is an awesome bank, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you want to see out in the water. Hey, well, um, come on over us when you get the 11. <laughs> <laughs> up there real shallow I casted that right up on the bank first fish of the day not too bad but I'd like a bite like we just saw there here's plenty more that's the yeah. crazy thing is there's actually a lot of big fish that just that could be difficult yeah any cast though could be the one any My turn, Jerry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Net, 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 net. Oh my God. Oh, she shook right of the boat. Damn it. She grabbed him. Here on. Nice. Got him. Not a stick, right? Not a stick. <laughs> Let's go. Little guy, but it's been a while since we've had a bite. Hopefully we can get something bigger. Yeah, it kind of sucks catching those guys after seeing a 10 pounder yeah. somewhere around here. But, hey, it's a bite. We'll take them. Nice job. Good one. Good one. Maybe. I don't think she's woken up yet. Yep, it's nut. Oh boy. This is bad. She's not woken. She just woke up. It's a big fish, man. God, don't you come off, sister. That's a big fish. Really hope it's not hooked funny and it's just actually a decent one. Just gonna come up and jump. Get me over there a little bit more, a little bit more. She's like all the way over there. We're good right here. I think I just saw her. Ugh. 
this is crazy, dude. What do we have? I've never fought a fish this long on a jerk bait. It feels so heavy, whatever it is. It might be a carp, I don't know. It hasn't come up yet, which is really oh, weird. Nice oh, he's just hooked funny. I knew something was up. It's not even that big, dude. It's not even that big, it's a good fish though. Nice, thank you. Wow, that fish messed me up. It's like probably five pounds, but he just, <laughs> he was hooked perfectly. It's a good fish though, we'll take him. Yeah. Nice bass. I've never had a fish fight me that long on a jerk bait. Still a really good bass, probably close to five. Butte crushed the all white jerk bait. We revisit the dam. You know, they were here, we were seeing them, we were getting a few, but Jerry and I were like, let's give them some time to move up and feed. And sure enough, that paid off. Beautiful fish, nice pre-spawner. Holy heck, that's sick. First really good one of the day. What do we have? What's the scale say? Scale says, Oh wow, a lot bigger than I thought. Five, five, nine. Good fish. Wow, five, five, nine. First good of the day, look at that meat. Ooh, she's thick. I thought we had another double, folks. I thought that was gonna be number six. Maybe in a couple years, she still needs to grow a bit. See you later, girl. Thanks for playing. Nice, dude, put her there. There we go. We'll take it. We'll freaking take it. On? Good one? Sure? Oh, maybe. maybe. Yeah, maybe, dude. Maybe a good one. Watch your drag. Oh yeah, dude, holy Big boil. Oh yeah, dude, nice fish. Bring him here. Oh wow. Take your time, take your time. It's a light line. Good fish. Watch that drag. Wow. <laughs> they pull in here, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, nice fish. <laughs> nice job, dude. It's all good. There you go. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Let's go! Let's go, dude! Yes. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that might be your new personal that, best, that dude. That might be my new personal best right there. Yeah. Holy it hell. Definitely it definitely is. You think? Oh, yeah. What the heck? Look at that fish, dude! Let's go! Congrats! <laughs> oh, she was kind of barely hooked, too. Oh, my God, yeah. Like, wow. That Woo. was intense. Two back-to-back -back intense... Oh man, that might oh. go close to seven. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go! That's yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that's epic. <laughs> that dude, these fish in here go. That water's still really cold. I'm glad we, you know, this is one of those scenarios where like you can just like leave a spot and never come back to it. But we, dude, go wait, go wait, go wait, go wait. We're rocking a bit. 802 baby! Woo! That's, that's your personal best! Yeah, yeah. That is insane! Eight personal freaking pounder on a little tiny crankbait. Let's get a length too. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness, that just happened. <laughs> Jerry's caught his biggest bass ever! Yes. Oh, oh. Not even that long, it's just so they're so fat this time here. They're full of shad and eggs. Oh my god, what do we got? 20 over 20? 20. 20 and three quarters? Two and a half. Wow, nice job, Jerry. Let's go. <sighs> Started off really slow. We revisited a spot where we saw them. Sure enough, they're biting. Hey, geez. Oh my lord, dude, that thing is huge. All right, going back for the release. Just kicked and gone. Epic, boys. Epic, put it there. We still have so much bank left to fish. This is funny. This is a scenario in which, you know, Caleb, or mainly me, I'm not going to give uh, put this on Caleb, but usually I come up with like a fishing plan if we're not doing a big series like the night before. So I texted Caleb, I was like, hey, let's go fishing. The weather looks absolutely terrible, but let's go fishing. And then I'm like, I don't want to fish by myself. So I called up Jerry. We haven't fished in a while. Yeah. We fished a derby, a couple derbies, maybe a derby last year. And uh, he helps out with a lot of the Guggen film. And I'm like, dude, let's just, let's just go out there and wank on. So I called, I texted you like 10. Yeah. It's like, like 10 9, p.m. 10 yeah. And he's like, all right, cool. So that made it all worth it. The cool thing is we just have so much bank left. We're still kind of figuring out 
They're eating the rip bait, they're eating the crank bait. We had a few on the A-Rig too. This is just a prime example in which the wind is actually in our favor. It's pushing the bait, it's pushing the fish up against these rocks and it's a real steep dam. So you've got a bunch of bait and bass that are using this right now before, I mean, like in a week, that fish may be up a creek, you know? It's like, there's no telling. So we're getting them. We're freaking getting them. Whew. Would bet my life on the fact that- The first video I filmed for Guggen was the, the jet boat door. Really? Yeah. Epic. And we took it to Toby's and just- Sucked a bunch of hydro up in it. You want again? Good one? Oh yeah, nice one. Here's on a roll. It's all good. A rig in the foot. Oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> Not gonna beat the previous, but it's a good fish. Come here. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Decent. All right, I'm gonna keep fishing. You got this. All right, cool. Wow, it's a mess. Jerry's on a freaking roll right now. Do not stop this guy. Good one there on the crankbait again. Three, six, eight. Three pounder. Let's go. It's not too shabby. Not bad. All right, on let's get him back. There we go. Jerry is on fire. Another one? Animal. Stop this guy. Good one? Oh, we don't know. It's pulling. Oh my god. It's pulling. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to get, get you away from the rocks. Oh, it's another oh. nice one. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh my god. You got this. I'm gonna keep you away from those rocks. Spin us around to the left. Yep. Dude, you're on freaking fire. Oh my god. It's another nice one. Get him in here. Give him to me. In the net. <laughs> Dude, that's like six. That's oh, like five man, and a half, six. <laughs> All right. I got to put the A-Rig down. I'm such an idiot. You're just hammering them. Let's go. Woo! Monsters. 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 Six pounder. Six. Oh, six two. Six two. There we go, six, two, another big girl. Get back. Nice job, dude. Unbelievable. Back down she goes. This has got to be one of your best days for size. An eight, Easily. a six, you just caught a th three and a half? Yeah. We keep going this rate, we might actually break 30 pounds. I've yet to like go to a, like an urban lake and break 30 pounds this season. Holy moly. You know what sucks too? I don't have any more crankbaits. That's the last one? I, I have this rinky dinky crankbait box and like half of the cranks don't even have hooks on them. I got this little thing. I don't know if it'll get down deep enough, but it's basically what you're throwing. Might have to fight over that one. <laughs> no, you're good. Keep throwing. I'll find, I, I got something in here. Uh, That's incredible. This has been an absolute nuclear day. I, I was 50-50. I was like, do, do we go out in this nasty weather? So there's this beautiful saying. It's not a saying I came up with. And that saying is, if it's blowing, we're going. It blew, so we gooed. That was so corny. You guys get the gist. Anyway, I don't have any crankbaits though. So I lied, I'm throwing the air rig still. I'm a miserable angler, I'm so miserable. Oh, look at that giant. Got one? You're still quiet. How's that one feel? Oh, good one. You got him, you mean that him? Uh, I'm dead. Oh, crank bait in the net. It's good luck, isn't it? Oh, Hammer, just like choked it, dude. Nice. You are like sizzling them. <clears throat> Another solid fish on the crank. Look at us hammering them. Unreal. Well, two and a half pounder or so. Get back after it. Is that an animal of some sort? What? Oh yeah, giant. 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 That was weird. I thought it was snag. Good fish. 
in the net. Nice. That's a toad. Uh, that's a toad. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's what we're out here doing, boys. We're getting big. The hook just fell. Did you see that? I was like in my head. I'm like, that fish is going to come off. She didn't, though. We got her. Literally, this is such an awesome lake. It's that time of year where you can go out deep or you can go up shallow. That fish bit in like, like probably two feet of water. Big old pre-spawn femel. Getting the weight. We're getting the weight. Jerry, you say seven. I'm going to say high sixes. Oh, Jerry's right. Seven, 16. Let's go. An eight, a six, a seven, and a five. Look at the tail. Oh boy, they might actually be spawning. They're up there. Look at that tail. That fish has been fanning. And what's crazy, that fish could have just moved up. He may not have been there, I guess she, sorry. She may not have been up there in the morning, but uh, as it's gotten a little bit warmer, she may have uh, just moved up and started to fan. Always look at your fish this time of year. If it's got a tail like that, that's a fish that's up shallow doing the dirty. Absolute brute. We'll take it. Big old meat wagon going back. Got a seven, an eight, a six, and a five. We're chewing, folks. I'm chewing. See you later. Woo! It's definitely one of the best days I've had so far for the, like the true spring bite. Had some really good winter days this season, but for spring, this is making me happy. That's a dog. Damn. Get some areas like where it's mixed grass too, so you got like some, some on. Oh my God, I saw that. Keep them down, dude. That's a picking. That's a pick. How big are you talking? I don't know. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude, this is an incredible oh. day. That's a five, maybe six. Maybe. That's... You got him. I'm gonna keep fishing. This is a day, buddy. This is a day. I saw that bite. I was like, that's a good one. Yeah. That there's a good one. That one, there's no question. See, this is what you call having a day. Look at how long that one I is. know. Yeah. If she was a little bit fatter, we'd yeah. be looking at another seven pounder for sure. I'm going to say close to six. I'm going to say high fives, like five, nine. I just think you're shooting a little low. I'm going to go just over six. Okay. Ooh. Five, five nine. nine. <laughs> it's literally five, five nine. nine. Damn. That, but you know what that is? That fish just put us over the dirty 30. First spring bag of the season, and we busted 30 pounds. Yeah. First, I've never caught a 30 pound bag before. Really? So, yeah, never done. Personal bus, 30 pound bag. Boom. Come get it. Come get it. Oh, wow. Epic. Girl. Fish just moved up. It's literally dripping in blood. Yeah. It's dr it, that fish, maybe five or like maybe two hours ago, was out there. He was that fish was not actually locked on spawning. Nature, dude, freaking nature. Nice job, Jerry. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How good does this feel? Dude, that, that was the best bite of the day. Yeah, that was, that was sweet. Awesome. One thing that Jerry and I are doing right now is we're trying to keep like kind of an open possibility of just about any sort of bite. Like as you guys have seen today, we've gone and fished deep by the dam, throwing a rigs and jerk baits, which is more of kind of that pre-spawn thing. But now it's like we're fishing a whole new lake at a whole new time period. This is what you'd consider, I guess, like fishing the spawn. Like these fish are up here staging, chilling, their tails are bloody, like they're actively doing it. Um, and the best way, in my opinion, to catch those fish is either flipping and pitching like a little bandito bug or a cracking craw, or covering lots of water and just kind of peppering the bank and moving around. Like we're fishing maybe a 30, 40 yard stretch one way, and then we'll come back and fish it again just in case we missed anything. But it's a super effective way to just cover water if you don't have too much time, or if you just maybe don't really know where to start pick up a few fish, kind of pay attention to where that fish came from, how it bit, you know, does it have a bloody tail? Does it, you know, look like it's loaded full of eggs? It's pretty easy to tell if it's a fish that has eggs. Like they're bloated. There we go, they're bloated. That's a giant, good fish. He interrupted me. It's all good, I got him. Yeah? Yeah. Good fish though. And just like that, that fish proved my point. That's crazy. 
came out of nowhere. <laughs> probably about a, I don't know, five pounder, something like that yeah, maybe. Probably. Good fish though. It's wild. Is that, just as I was saying, this is such an awesome way to cover water. I think people think if you're, you know, fishing bass that are spawning, you got to get right on top of their beds. But just something that looks like a bed invader, something that looks like it doesn't belong in their area. It's oh wow, look at this. Oh, this is crazy. Come, come close, come close. It's literally dumping its eggs. Those little golden things right there are bass eggs. This is like almost like the fish was listening to me. He's like, yeah, uh huh. You're talking about spawning bass? Well, here's a bass that is spawning. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water because she is dumping a deal. But that's incredible, probably about a five pounder. Another one bites the dust. Pretty cool stuff. Nature is happening, spring is coming. Once you see the little tiny green leaves on the trees and the, and the red buds starting to just slowly bloom, it's time to get out there. Pie on a plated jig with a saucy swimmer. Get a bandito bug, little quarter ounce weight, light weights this time of year, you gotta fish out. Too heavy of a weight's gonna sink in the mud. You're not gonna be able to sting them. Simple and easy. Go up there and fish. Get that. So sweet. Oh my god. Another big one. <laughs> yeah. Another giant. Oh my god. This has been a day, boys. It's not a giant, but a good fish. This has been a day. They like this bank. Another female. Probably about a three pounder, but not a very long fish. Super healthy. Look at the, oh my God, look at the dimension. Look at this fish, Jerry. This is crazy. Look at the, Holy dude, God. that is insane. <laughs> this is probably like one of those fish that Texas Parks and Wildlife stocked. You know, like the whole share lunker program, it's a big deal. And you can tell what a share lunker fish looks like. Tiny little head and monster gut. That is crazy. Look. Probably have some eggs in there too. <laughs> that is the coolest looking fish I've ever seen. It looks like my 14 pounder, like just, or my 11, you know, it looks like, it looks like my, looks like my 11. Just a big old stunted fish. Let's see, this fish is not even 18 inches. I bet it goes four. It's almost a five pounder, Jerry. Jeez. Four, seven, not even an 18 inch fish. That is insanity. I'm gonna post this one on the gram. If you guys don't follow me on the gram yet, it's right here. John B. Roland. Not John Brolin. I'm not related to the other Brolin. That was Thanos. But yeah, that's fish. Like, what is going on with these dimensions? Look at the girth. Oh, he looks so mean. See you, Bubba. He's just, he's, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Who is he not for eating? You gotta know where to run out there. Yeah, I'm not sure. Did I ever show you that prop from out there? He was like a prop, like this. Sitting in his like, uh, the guy that rigged your boat, Aaron. Oh. He has a prop there from from a guy that busted his entire sh on Robertson. Dude, it looks like looks like the good one. Good one. Good one. Not that good, but it's a fish. Finally, we'll take it. It's a very mushy bite. Flip him. About a three pounder in the boat. Hit a lull, but cured that by catching this guy. Today's been a numbers day, a size day. Just an all around day that we needed for spring bass fishing. Thank you, little Bubba. He was off a bit. On. Fish. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> I can't even lift her up, dude. That's Holy a that's a six, maybe a seven. Settle down, Jerry. This dude is on fire. <laughs> That's a six. So that means we have nothing but six, wow. sevens, and eight, and an eight. Oh my God. It went seven. This has been a freaking day. Bye-bye. Wow. Now we're well over 30. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. That today's video today's video should just be called Wow.
Well, this is not how I anticipated ending today's video, but um, weather took a turn. Like literally, it's perfectly fine here. I mean, it's windy or whatever, and you can see I got absolutely soaked on the rip back. Um, but I had to leave in an absolute rush because there is a full on like tornado warning 15 minutes from my house up north and Kaylee and our newborn daughter's up there. So I just booked it as fast as I possibly can off the water. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't stop a tornado, but I at least wanna be up there to make sure everything's okay. Texas can be pretty nasty. We live in a very flat part of Texas. So uh, as much as I wanted to like take some time, sit down and talk about how we caught this fish and then also continue fishing, that just probably, I mean, period, was not the move. So I'm heading home right now. I'll, uh, I'll update you guys, hopefully, once everything's cool and safe and we'll end the video there. But um, yeah, scary things going on. Tornadoes and really nasty weather. Oh. Well, that was not how I hoped to finish out today's video. A tornado literally just rolled through my neighborhood and it's like sunny out. It's like sunny and 70. Look, look at this. Beauty of spring in Texas. We live in the flatlands and tornadoes like to roll through here whenever they please. All jokes aside, kind of the town I live around did get hit pretty hard. Uh, some barns, some houses got leveled. Some cows went flying. I don't know, I don't know literally, but yeah, it, it was pretty nasty. Thankfully, Kaylee and the baby are fine. My barn is okay. My house is okay. The dogs are chilling. But I mean, it was probably 15 minutes away from where I was at. So when I, when I heard the news, when we were on the water, I absolutely freaked out. Like we cut the video off, like no joke. Like Caleb's like, we should get it. I'm like, no dude, I gotta go home. Like this is scary. Um, and also Texas doesn't have basements. Most of the houses don't have any shelters to kind of hide from these really nasty windstorms and tornadoes. So I was like, Kaylee, get in the tub. If that's the only thing you can do, don't go outside, stay away from the windows. And I was like, really freaking out but i actually ended up driving through the tornado while kaylee was totally fine so basically storm passed she was cool then i was in it so we both got to experience some really nasty weather and all that set aside we freaking wanked on them today wieners we cranked them 34 pounds of fish probably one of my best fishing days of the year got them on crankbaits bladed jigs jerk baits a rigs just about everything you want to catch them on this time of year and we got to film the whole experience for you guys at home again my apologies for the abrupt ending there Figured we could at least close out today's video on the old iPhone, but I appreciate the view. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.